Who came after Dubuffet, if oh. you can remember? Oh, my. Well, then, um, I, uh, what came after Dubuffet? Uh, you know, um, collecting is a little piece of madness. You know, it really is. Folks who collect are a little bit crazy. And um, I always uh, had an eye for what was hanging on the wall, mm -hmm. any place. Mm -hmm. And I always had this internal conviction that I knew better than most what a good painting was. I still have that conviction, although I've been proved wrong several times. But um, nothing dissuades me from that particular vanity. And um, I guess about this time, I saw at uh, the Pierre Matisse Gallery, which is a great gallery mm -hmm. of the past, um, the likes of which we don't have anymore, I fear, a, uh, an artist in a three-man show there, whose name was Raymond Mason, uh -huh. and an Englishman living in Paris. And I uh, went completely nuts and stayed nuts for 45 years where Raymond was concerned. So that um, I bought up a lot of Raymond's work. Uh, there were two of us in the world that did that, me and another fellow. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was exceedingly uh, uh, unpopular as a commercial uh, matter. He has a big relief piece in uh, the Tuileries, though, in per permanently installed. Where? In the Tuileries. Yeah, it is. It's a Sorry. <laughs> There's a large Raymond Mason uh, relief sculpture which is permanently installed in a wall of the Tuileries near the Place de la Concorde end. Nice. Um, I have its twin up mm -hmm. at the... Um, anyway, I, uh, I collected a lot of Raymond's work, and uh, the, I, I get a real kick out of looking at paintings, things that hang on the wall, and um, making judgments um, uh, about them, which um, I sort of express by collecting, I suppose. Um, uh, I don't have, the collection doesn't have the usual suspects. No, that's one of the really exciting things about it. Yeah. It would be more exciting if it did have the usual suspects. <laughs> In because <tomb. laughs> it would be, I, I, as, as you may know, I'm glad to tell all you folks, the, um, the collection in most of the collection I've given to the Harlem Children's Zone, which if you don't know what that is, you should find out. <laughs> um, it's a marvelous organization that uh, looks after the education of uh, the children from age one through college in a certain section of Harlem. and. Um, the, eventually, that means that the, the paintings will be sold, and because it, they can use the money, they can't really use the paintings. So if it had the um, usual suspects, uh, Harlem Children's would be much happier. <laughs> and I, I, I would too I, I for that reason. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, quite apart from that, it, it's thrilling to see a collection that is so clearly personal. I mean. Uh, no one was telling you what you should be buying. It looks like everything there is something that you got excited about. 